The smell of the salt air, the pounding of the surf, the sight of lobster boats returning with their bounty. Who can resist the draw of the ocean? Max had vivid memories of the summers of his youth on Donovan's Island. Endless days exploring the cliffs and bluffs with his friend Bill, lying on his back in the fields of lupins, in all their pink, white, and purple splendor, watching the clouds roll by on a summer day, and eating lobster and shrimp at the family's favorite seafood restaurant. And then there was the summer of 1976 and Mary Rossa. His memories of Donovan's Island were so vivid he could smell the salt air and hear the waves crashing on the rocks. For many years, decades in fact, no one took Spain very seriously in the spy game. In relation to the superpowers, Spain's army was small and their navy was almost insignificant, a far cry from the fleet that was once the most formidable in the world. And their resources seemed to be a trifle in comparison to the US, the Soviet Union, China, and the Brits. Spain used the misconception to their advantage, flying under the radar, so to speak, while they built up their intelligence network over the last two decades. Dad, tell me again about the old house, Bobby asked. He remembered his father telling him about the old mansion that sat on the bluff at the top of the cliffs, overlooking the ocean, but he couldn't remember the details. Well, son, this island was settled by the Donovan family in the late 1700s. They built that house in 1802. In the late 50s, the last known surviving Donovan passed away, and the house has sat vacant ever since. No wonder it looks so run down, Bobby said. His father continued. There have been stories about ghosts of the Donovan family in that house, homeless vagrants living there, alien visitations, even that it's a secret spy hideout, but no one has seen any sign of life since it was abandoned in the 50s. Bobby's eyes were as big as saucers. His active imagination played out scenarios about each story his dad mentioned about the old house.